I was gonna do this video outside, but it's too cold. I'm not gonna freeze my, uh, you know, hands off. <laughs> Anyways, what a great day to be sober. The sun's bright. I'm here with my YouTube guys and gals who are trying to get sober or are sober and having a great recovery life. What I wanna talk about in this video is something that you may be experiencing early recovery or may not in early recovery, but it really happens by the truckloads in early recovery. And what I'm talking about is restless, irritable, and discontent. That feeling of not feeling good in your own skin, you're not living up to your expectations, or you're discontent with your life, you should be somewhere else, thinking about the future, those kind of things. You're just not dealing with life on life terms when you want to stop the alcohol. And you know, this phenomena that happens to alcoholics and addicts is true. It really is. We just don't feel good about life, you know, where we are in our lives once we stop drinking. We get irritated at little things, you know, maybe the wife says something to you, snap at them, or you get in a fight at work with the boss over the littlest things at work. You know, when you feel discontent with your life, you should be more somewhere else, have more, or, you know, better family life. Just life is not living up to what you think it should be or where you should be in your life. And to top it all off, it's crazy. You just feel totally crazy. And if you like, if you're like that, if you're feeling irritable, restless, and discontent, I like to say it's pretty normal, but you need to get out of that state. You really do, because that state is like what they call white knuckling or a phrase that was coined many years ago, back in the seventies, a dry drunk, a dry drunk. And basically what that is, is you're not, you're, you're still living the same way you did when you drank, but you don't have the booze. So your coping mechanisms, the way you deal with stress, the way you deal with your feelings, the way you deal with your belief system, the way you think your behavior is still very similar to when you drank. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're feeling like this, just understand that that's a warning sign that your sobriety is kind of iffy. You know, you're going off the rails or maybe you're not even on the rails, but you're having problems, right? The first thing you want to check and one of the easiest things you want to check is halt, right? We all know that, right? If you're in recovery, you know halt, right? Hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Check those things out. They're great maintenance steps. They're great self-care steps, okay? Another thing you might want to do, well, not want to do, but do, is you might want to get yourself a sponsor, start working the steps in your 12-step program, and start making some changes in your life. Because you know the old saying, right? If you sober up a drunken horse thief, he's still a horse thief, right? change we must it's not an option you know people say all oh, these are suggested things to do in recovery they're not we need to do that if we continue and think that just because we quit alcohol that our life is going to get better you're wrong you're 100 percent wrong my life got worse when i stopped alcohol because i was the same person i didn't know how to deal with stress my stress management was really poor I didn't know how to deal with relationships, really piss poor in my relationships. My emotions, anger, rage, hurt, sadness, all those sort of negative emotions on the negative side were really prominent in my life. I was full of guilt. I was full of shame. You know, I couldn't sleep properly. My mind was racing. And I was having all these problems with my life. And I was wondering, God damn it, I'm sober. I should have a better life. And yes, you should have a better life if you change. You change through the steps. You might have to go to therapy. You might have to get an open mind and ask somebody to help you and find somebody that you could talk about your daily life to. Find higher power, prayer and meditation, do mindfulness. But the main reason is, is because a lot of people think in belief when they're heavy drinker, alcoholic type people like myself and probably like you, that if I just quit drinking, life is gonna get better. Well, it does sort of get better. You know, your health will improve, hopefully. Your financials will improve. You have more money in your 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 pocket because you're not pissing it all out at the bars or doing drugs or whatever the hell you're doing. You're not doing that. 
you know, pizzas, taxis, Ubers, all that kind of crazy shit. Women, woo, women cost me a lot of money. Prostitutes, those kind of things. Not doing all that, but when it comes to our spirituality, our emotions, and our mental health, we need to work on those areas in our sobriety. I cannot stress it enough. Just because we put a plug on the jug, it it's a bare start. It's a symptom to a greater problem. The out drinking is. The drinking is a symptom to a greater problem. And the greater problem is very simple. Just go in your washroom and look in your mirror. And there's the problem. And there is the solution. It really is. It really is. We need to get honest, open-minded, and willingness to do the work. It takes courage, people. That's why we go to meetings. We hang around like-minded people. And we give ourselves a break. And we move forward. And we say, one day at a time, one day at a time, things will get better and they will you will get better in spite of yourself if you stay sober because you'll be pushed to recovery you'll be pushed to a better life you'll be pushed to those things either that or you'll be pushed to drink either that's the crossroad right either we turn right or we turn left it's your choice alcoholism is one of the only diseases that doesn't tell us we got it. And just because we quit drinking, it doesn't mean it's gone. It doesn't mean it's gone. It's progressive even when we stop drinking. If you don't believe it, if you don't believe it, do nothing but quit and see how your life gets. Yeah, yeah, see how your life gets, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. And let me tell you something. It works if you work it. God bless. Remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. But don't forget to give yourself a break and get sober and have a great life. And everybody around you will say, hey, I thought that guy was a loser. What happened to him? Presto, sober. That's what happened to him. Ciao for now.